Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Cars and More. Today I am going to review the new Volkswagen ID4 GTX. Let's go. So let's start with what battery and motor options you get. So you get a 77 kWh battery pack that has 301 miles of range on the GTX model but 291 miles of range on the GTX Max model. There are two motors one 201 bhp at the back but with the GTX model you get a 108 bhp motor at the front which makes 309 bhp. Both cars have a 0 to 62 time of 6.2 seconds and a top speed of 112 miles per hour. The price for the ID4 GTX starts at £48,525. So, the style of the ID4 GTX is exactly like the ID4 but with some tiny styling tweaks. The only ones that can be seen are that the side vents are same style but they now incorporate fog lights that have the same style as the Golf GTI. To be honest when they are not on it looks like any other ID4 but when they are on it them makes the ID4 GTX look very sporty and different. For me I don't think this is enough considering this is an electric GTI. It is a shame. The rest of the design is the same as the usual ID4 at the front and if you want to see that video the click on the top right banner above. Along the side that there are no differences apart from the GTX badges which again is a shame considering the price you are paying for this car. At the back, there are no changes that I can notice apart from that the ID4 badge has changed to the GTX badge like what they do for the GTI, GTD and R badges on other cars but that is it. On the inside there are some changes but again it is very minimal. There is a different steering wheel that has been taken from the Golf GTI as it has the red strip on it. Instead of the GTI badge though it has a GTX badge. If you have the normal GTX model that is all of the changes. The GTX Max models have the same sport seats from Cooper as well as some red stitching and some sport sport pedals that have some pause and play buttons. On the normal GTX models you have the GTX badge embroidered but the GTX Max models do not. Why is that? Surely it should be another way round. It really is not worth the price it is. Sitting in the back is actually quite good for the size of SUV. You can sit two six-footers in the back very well but if you want to sit three in the back you can do so with ease as there is not a floor hump. Creature comforts include an armrest your own climate control vents and climate control. The boot size of the Volkswagen ID4 GTX with the seats up is 543 litres and with the seats down it is 1655 litres. So in summary then I think that the ID4 GTX could be a lot better. Yes you get the extra power and better handling than the normal ID4 but for me it is not worth the extra price purely because it does not look special enough. If this was the top of the range max model with this option then I would say go for it but I would say there are better alternatives. If you like this video, then please do not forget to comment like and subscribe. Thank you.